Alton Advanced Analytics provides deep level analytics based on transaction information. It improves troubleshooting and speeds up the root cause analysis. It also provides user insights and enables anomaly detection. Using the Traffic Log Dashboard, you get clear insights to the traffic patterns that your application handles. The dashboard information is adjusted to the selected period. The table displays the log transactions. The histogram displays the number of events per severity. Normal reflects a transaction that received the requested response. Exception reflects the transaction that ended abnormally. The field summary area displays the top five unique values per each field. Let's try to identify the transaction that ended with exceptions. Three types of exceptions are identified, most of them due to a 400 response code, but there is one transaction which ended with a 500 response code. Let's have a look. Clicking on the value adds it to the filter criteria. We can see that this transaction came from the US and that the method was extension. As this method is not supported by the server, it responded with a 501 not implemented response code. Now, let's troubleshoot an issue with a slow response. The end-to-end -end window shows that there are two transactions which took more than three seconds to transmit the entire response. Clicking to add a filter, we can have a closer look at those transactions. Both transactions came from the same source, and we can see that a client RTT is very high. That means that a problem is not at the server side. We will now take another scenario where the client complains that he cannot access the service. We will add a filter based on his IP address. We see two exception events, both failed due to client certificate verification. We now know that we need to check the client certificate. Another way to troubleshoot exception events is by using the histogram to pinpoint these abnormal issues. The height of the bar reflects the number of events at this point. Clicking on the bar will focus on these events. We see that each one failed for different reason. Trying to understand the 400 response code, we can see the client information and that he tried to access a path which does not exist on the server. That's it for now. I wish you all easy troubleshooting with Alto and Advanced Analytics.